welcome to the Echo Park Time Travel Mart. Uh, this is the caveman and robot, and they are permanent fixtures here, and they're definitely very popular in the neighborhood. Let's go inside. Um, my name is Lauren Rock. I am the store coordinator here at the Echo Park Time Travel Mart. The store has been open since 2008, temporarily, but um, we get we definitely get a lot of, of people who come in here thinking that it's a set for a movie, thinking that it's an art project, thinking that it's a museum, which in a way it is kind of a museum art project that's also a functional store and also a tutoring and writing center for kids. So we carry uh, products from the past and products from the future and time machine parts. So all of these hats are from different eras and they're really popular right now because right now in, in our year of 2012, it's summer, we have our beards and such wall. These are different facial hairstyles that uh, help you fit in in different time periods. Because if you go into uh, you know, the caveman era without a big giant beard, you're going to stand out like a sore thumb. We use a lot of uh, ideas that come from our volunteers. And what happens is people come up with the concept, and then we have uh, other people who design the product, and then we have a group of people who actually put the product together. So it's a group, uh, it's a group effort. Here are our donuts, which were fresh and delicious in 1985, but in this era, you probably don't want to eat them. Uh, and we have robot emotions, uh, which help robots feel a range of human emotions, including envy and love and fear and gratitude and rage and time travel sickness pills for when you get nauseated when you travel. These are the uh, patron saint of time travel candles, uh, and they all have different philosophers on them as well as their uh, time travel uh, information on the back. They're really beautiful candles that, have, uh, that you can light to make your time travel safe. Robot milk is probably one of our more popular items, and uh, it is 100% non-organic pixelated milk. Uh, we get a lot of foot traffic for the store. We also uh, get a lot of people who come in here because they've heard about it through the internet mostly. Um, we also get people who find out about us just through 826 uh, as an organization. People uh, like to visit the different 826 stores uh, when they are in those cities. Um, but we also get people who are genuinely fascinated by time travel and want to come in and discuss things with uh, the workers in the store. We don't always know how to uh, address it because some people come in with some pretty interesting theories. People like to come in here because they feel uh, a connection to time travel. People love the idea of time travel. People love thinking about going back to the past and fixing something or being able to visit the future and we address that in a very whimsical fun way and I think that appeals to a lot of people. We actually once had a, um, a time travel story writing workshop where the kids uh, all got together and helped build a time machine and then they wrote about the time machine and where it went and, um, and all the stories that had to do with the time machine. So the younger kids really just have a lot of fun, goofy ways of, you know, talking about time travel and talking about just anything that they write creatively about. These are all books that were written by the kids. So all of these books that you see here, um, right here, these were all written by our students and different students from 826 centers around the country. I think the kids really are affected by the fact that they are studying uh, writing and and learning how to express themselves creatively in a time travel store. Um, I think that some of their stories reflect that. They definitely reference the caveman and the robot a lot. Um, those have become icons for them uh, because that's where they, you know, they get to walk with their friends in the neighborhood and say, oh, that caveman and robot place, that's where I go write stories.